sunflower wall decor from Dollar Tree Calendar. Keep watching! <music> I've got some sunflowers here, a variety of ribbons and jute, scissors, glue gun, glue, a frame with a plexiglass front, and a calendar from Dollar Tree. This is what they look like. There's a big variety at Dollar Tree, and you can get them out of the, I think, over with the school, back to school section. So I've just chosen this black with the sunflowers. And carefully tear that out. You can cut it with a razor or scissors if you want to, but I don't mind that edge. Okay, so I'm going to take this frame apart. Just going to take the back off the frame, rather. And the frame came from Dirt Cheap. And there I am. Okay, so we're going to use the back of it. And find placement where I want to put it. And you know, if you want to measure, you can to make sure that it's precise and exactly the same amount, but I don't care about all that. Doesn't matter to me. So I use some adhesive spray from Dollar Tree. Just be careful with that. It can be messy, it can make the page a little damp, and it can tear. I didn't have that problem, so just use my ruler to get the bubbles out. And there's still a few, but I don't mind that. I want to frame it out with a little bit of this jute. Any of you who've seen my videos before know how I feel about the overuse of hot glue. It's very hard to repurpose an item that's covered in glue. So, just want to go ahead and do this with as little as possible. So it's framed around the top and bottom there, and then it goes all the way down from the top edge to the bottom edge. I saw a little mark on the paper here. I might have done that when I was getting the bubbles out, but went ahead and used a Sharpie and fixed it. Now you want to take your glass or your plexiglass, whatever you have there, and clean up all the fingerprints and dust. I think my measurements for this frame are 19 by 13. And I wanted it larger because I have plans for the bottom of it. So I'm just going to, after that's all clean, put that back together. And I want to use my ribbon across, well, I guess you can call that ribbon. And I use my burlap strip across the bottom because I want to make a pocket of sorts. Here I am just trying it out, trying to get an idea of where I want to put this. Okay, this part I use a little more glue. Not a ton, but a little more. And secure the sides down. I also went ahead and took my stapler and just tacked that down. had a misfire there had to go back now I want to trim it up we want the back looking bad and I will take the tags off at some point and then you choose a variety of ribbons that will coordinate with whatever picture that you chose from your calendar these came from Dollar Tree and I'm making a bow I have decided I'm going to purchase a bow maker or try to make one because my hands are small and I have to get the fabric so close to my body to hold it that I keep getting out of the camera range. And that's no good for you because you can't see what I'm doing. But if you get an idea here, I have six inch tails on this bow and I have five inch loops. And I'm going to do 
two loops on each side. And rather than stacking it after the bow is made, I went ahead and chose to wrap it all at one time. So I have two layers here in my hands, one green and one of black and white um, checkered. When I finish making those loops, I'm going to measure the length of the tail. If you see the black strip down there, I'm measuring that to make sure I get the right length. And then I'm taking this zip tie and securing my bow together. So this is what it looks like before it is fluffed. And I've decided I want to add a little burlap to the top. So I'm just making a simple um, two-loop bow for the top. You can almost see what I'm doing there. And I cut the tail short on this one. That one is going to be tied off with a long piece of jute. And then I'm going to use that same piece of jute once it's tied down to wrap around the other bows. Get a double knot there so it doesn't come loose. I aggressively fluff my bows, so I want to be sure that I don't pull anything loose in the process. Okay, so around the middle and between the tails with the jute, and going to give that a couple of knots. and then trim off this excess. And I'll use that jute to tie around the pocket that I've made on the bottom. After, of course, I fluff my bow. Just gonna dovetail here. Makes the ends look a little bit neater. You can cut it at a slant or whatever you choose to do. What do you think about it so far? Pretty good? Okay, so here I am just tying it on one side and I'm going to use the other side for the flowers. I'm going to trim them off so I don't have too much stem to fold up. It makes a lot of bulk and I don't want that. I chose these colors because they match pretty closely to what's already in the picture. I'm just going to tuck those in there and a little bit of extra greenery. Okay, so now that I know how I want it, I'm going to wire these together. You can use floral wire or you can use um, a zip tie or a little piece of jute cord, whichever one works best for you. See, I changed my mind about that little piece of wire. This just seems to be the easiest for me. Like I said, I have small hands and it's hard for me to grasp a big bunch like that and try to tie it without dropping it and you know it just makes it easier and that's all it is to, is to it I'm just going to tuck it in there and I'm going to use a little floor wire to hold it shut and it is perfectly done I hope you like it I hope you try to do something like this yourself because it was easy and thrifted and inexpensive I'd love for you to subscribe. I have lots more. If you have any comments, please put them below. I'd love to hear input. If you have any suggestions for videos, I'd be happy to look at those and give it a shot. I thank you so much for watching. And for those of you who have stuck around, I appreciate you being part of my YouTube family. See you soon. Bye.